Hey guys, we're back. Playing some more Pokemon Training Card Game Online? Yeah. Hey guys, we're back! Playing some more Pokemon Training Card Game Online! And I do not know where that came from, but... We are going to jump into a new deck today, and it's gonna be super awesome. It's gonna revolve around... Noivern, because Noivern is super cool. Just take a look at its ability. If any damage done to this Pokemon... Wait. If any damage is done to this Pokemon by attacks, flip a coin if heads prevent that damage. So basically, there's a 50-50% chance that this guy can't even be affected by any damage from your opponent's attacks. Which is super cool and super awesome. And it also has a 3 energy attack called Boom Burst. This attack does 30 damage to each of your opponent's Pokemon. So, 30 damage to each one of your opponent's Pokemon. And I almost forgot to give due credit to the person that gave me this deck list slash idea. And it is again the same guy that gave me the Mega Heracross deck idea and deck list. Peg. Peg Fear. Um, he probably will be posting in the comments because he's awesome like that. But um, yeah, he gave me this deck list and I edited it a little bit. He didn't have the evil tolls in here, um, but I just put those in there for energy energy acceleration because there's a three energy attack on this and that's a Neovern and Evil Tall is the real the only real energy acceleration that this guy can have because Evil Tall um, brings uh, darkness energy from your discard pile, and you get to attach it to one of your bench Pokemon. So that's a good way of energy acceleration. Evil Tall is also resistant to fighting type, which is a huge thing in the format right now because Furious Fist. Um, so this has awesome resistance towards Landorus EX, Baby Landorus, Machamp, you know, all those fun things. Um, what is it? Uh, Lucario, yes, that one. Okay, so Evil Tall is really good just to um, start off with and do 30 damage, and then, um, yeah. So basically, another concept to this deck is at the end of the match, when we have enough damage done from Boom Burst, third damage to each of your opponent's Pokemon, we're going to bring out Meowstic and do one energy attack, move as many damage counters on your opponent's Pokemon as you like to any of your other opponent's Pokemon in any way you like. So uh, basically, you just get to move all the damage around on your opponent's, be on your opponent's benched and active Pokemon. Um, kind of like the Dusknoir's ability, except for Meowstic is a stage 1, and it's not an ability, so if they have a Garbodor in play, we can still use Ear Influence, and you know, we could target down that um, Garbodor if we need to um, with the Meowstic as well. So that is the idea behind that, and we also have the Dark Rye, which lets um, all my Pokemon that has any Darkness Energy attached to it has no Retreat cost. So, free Retreat, and Super Awesome Muna. The idea behind Muna is we have two of these guys in here, yeah. Um, once you're in your turn before you attack, you may flip a coin. If has your opponent's po active Pokemon is now asleep, if tails your Pokemon, your active Pokemon is now asleep. So basically, what we're trying to do is lock down your opponent as much as possible. We're going to try to put him to sleep, and he's going to have, no, he's going to have to flip a coin to wake up from sleep, and he's going to have to flip a coin to do damage to my... <laughs> I am terrible at pronouncing names, but Neo Noivern, Noivern, okay, Noivern, that's what it is. <laughs> okay, so basically, he's going to have a really hard time attacking, um, and that's the idea behind that. And we also play Sparkling Robe, so if we do happen to flip tails um, and put our own active Pokemon to sleep, we can just attach the Sparkling Robe and get rid of that sleep, because we don't want to be asleep, because then we can't attack, and that's no good. Okay, so... Peg's awesome idea that actually works really well is maintenance bicycle. He has a he has a maintenance bicycle um, um, thing in this deck, which basically maintenance says shuffle two cards from your hand into your deck, and then draw a card. So basically, shuffle you're shuffling all the cards in that you don't need, so you don't have to discard them um, with like a Ultra Ball or the Juniper or something. That that maintenance comes really much in handy. Um, but Bicycle will also come in handy, too, because you're shuffling cards into your deck, and if you have a Bicycle in your hand, you can shuffle all these cards into your deck, and then you can Bicycle and draw more cards. So it's basically um, a really good drawing technique that actually works quite well. I mean, it's not the best, but, I mean, it's it's good. Um, I also added more supporters in here than what Peg had, or Peg had, not had it. That Peg had it. Um, he had four Pokemon fan club, which didn't really work that well, so I put more different supporters in here, like two Colorises and um, other things too. I think the ends, I don't know, maybe he had the ends in there, I don't know. But yes, computer search for awesomeness. We have eight darkness energy and five psychic energy, 
and it works amazing. So let's get into the game. Yeah, that's what we're doing. Um, we're going into a game. Okay, so, um, looks like we have everything set up to go into a battle, and this deck is actually pretty good. Um, if you get lucky enough, it can defeat a lot of top-tier decks. Like, I just, um, just demolished, I guess it wasn't demolished, but, um, I totally just beat, like, a, a Landers EX deck, you know, Rising Fist, like, with Lucario. I beat two games in a row of that, I, I just won two games in a row, and it was, like, super awesome, and I was super happy, because this deck is actually, it's fun to play, and it actually is not too bad. So, we're gonna draw some extra cards here, looks like we're going up against a Punk, Pump Kaboo, um, which means Gorgeist, but he does have a weakness to, um, me, so that's awesome. Okay, so what can I do? I really don't want to use these colors, so I think I might Skyla for something. Um, ah, man, I don't know. Um, I kind of want to attach... I kind of want to discard the the Darkness Energy just because I think that might be a good idea. Um, but I'm going to Skyla here for a, a better thing. Or maybe even a Maintenance card so I can put some stuff back into my deck, or even a computer search, that might work too. Um, I'm just going to go for a maintenance just to test out this idea and kind of show you guys what it does, but I don't think I'm going to be able to do it right now, but um, we're going to shuffle back um, this this one and this one, because, you know, we can do that. Okay, and then we have an, another maintenance, okay, see, we just drew a maintenance off a of maintenance, so, and we want to get rid of the Neovern and... Probably another Colorus. Nah, I'll just get rid of the Ultra Ball, um, just because. And there's another Neovern, so, you know, we're just going to attach Darkness Energy and then Bicycle. Look at that. We just Bicycled, and we had a buttload of cards in our hand. But now we are left with a Colorus and no Bench Pokemon. So, you know, maybe that wasn't the best idea, but at least I can start attacking next turn and knock out this Pumpkaboo. So if he doesn't have any Bench Pokemon, um, I'm going to win, because I'm going to knock him out in one hit with the weakness. But he does get the Pikachu, so that's all right. Um, he does get a double colorless energy on that Pikachu and a muscle band. So, um, and, and my evil toll is weak against Pikachu. Um, so that's kind of a bummer, but, um, we'll try what, we, we'll see what we can, we'll see what we can do. So we are going to knock out this Pump Kaboo. We're not going to Colorus because I don't really want to draw one card, but there is an end so I can end next turn and be awesome. So hopefully, um, I don't get knocked out this turn because if I do, I lose. But if he doesn't get any bench Pokemon, I can just attach this energy and totally destroy this Raichu with my second attack. But it looks like he's going to Juniper and um, get a bench Pokemon, two bench Pokemon, um, and maybe even three benched Pokemon. Haha! Uh, probably because he Ultra Balled. Um, but I don't know what this guy is doing. I mean, he has a lot of a lot of uh, weird Pokemon, like Pikachu. I get Pikachu's not weird, but Pumpkaboo, uh, Diglett, Eevee. What kind of deck is this? I don't know. Um, but he does get uh, energy on... Whoa, 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 whoa. He almost knocked me out there. Okay, that was almost scary. Um, I mean, it was scary. Um, so I'm going to end, hope to get another bench Pokemon, and an energy. I mean, I could have attached that Psychic Energy, but I'd like to save my Psychic Energy. Um, and I did get a Noibat... But I don't think that's going to cut it. Um, wow, I'm not doing very good right now. Um, <laughs> um, actually, I'm going to undo. I'm going to attach the Psychic Energy. Um, just to s No, actually, undo. I'm going to attach the Darkness Energy. Um, just because. And we're going to knock out this Raichu. And hopefully he can't knock me out next turn. But it looks like I do flip heads. So I can attack next turn. Uh, unless I get knocked out. And he says LOL, I don't know why he said LOL, but I did get another N, so now I'm back in for another thing. I thought that was an EX. Oh, no, it's not an EX. <laughs> no, that's definitely not Evil Tall EX, that's just regular baby Evil Tall. So he does bring out the Eevee without the energy on it, but there is a double colorless, so he's going to knock out my Evil Tall with the 10 damage remaining, and I'm left with a Noibat, which is not very good. So um, maybe I'm not doing very good right now. But that's okay. It looks like he does bring out the Flareon, so he's going to knock me out even more now. Because um, Flareon does 10 more damage for each. 20 plus 10 for each Pokemon in your discard pile. And he has a lot of Pokemon in his discard pile, apparently. Five, to be exact. Um, so, now I need to do something cool. Um, oh, oh, I have a Neovern right here. So I can just bring out my Neovern, put a 
Sparkling robe, put an energy, and then end for four. I mean, I guess that's the best thing I can do. And look at this. We got a Muna and an Evil Tall. So hopefully we can put this Flary on asleep and, you know, be awesome. Because then he... Yes, he falls asleep, so hopefully he doesn't wake up. Because if he doesn't wake up, then he can't attack. And if he does wake up, then he has to flip a coin to do damage to me anyways. So, boom, you are asleep, and you can't even attack me. <laughs> Unless you get a switch, in which case you can attack me. But then you still have to flip a coin anyways. So... It's hugely inconvenient for him to be asleep. It's hugely inconvenient for everything. But it looks like he has an escape rope. And now I'm going to lose. Just kidding. I'm going to bring out my evil tall here. And he's probably going to bring out his... Uh, you know, if he brings out his Doug Trio, he's doing 60 and 10 damage to each of his bench Pokemon. Which is awesome for me. But it looks like he brought out his Leafy on. So he's doing 10 or 20 damage times the amount of energy attached to my Pokemon. And I only have one energy attached to all my Pokemon. So that's going to be 20 damage. Which is not very much at all. Okay, so, I'm, I did draw a bicycle top deck, so I'm going to bicycle and draw the energy that I wanted. <laughs> and then I'm just going to maintenance here, because, uh, you know, why not? Just draw a card, and there's another energy, so hopefully next turn I can do some stuff. I won't use Muna's ability, because I'm, I don't want to fall asleep myself, so I'm going to attach start attaching energy to my bench, uh, Neil Noivern. I always want to say Neovern, but that's not how you say it. It's Noivern, because um, because I'm a noob. That's why. That's why. Uh, but yeah. So my Evil Tall is in the active spot. He's going to be doing 60 damage to me with the with the Leafy on. So that's kind of scary, but at the same time, not too scary. So there's 60 damage, and my Evil Tall will get knocked out with one more hit. But I do draw the N, so that is cool. Um, I might just Professor's Letter here just to thin out my deck a little bit. And just attach uh, darkness energy to my Noivern. And, you know, if I draw a, uh, a little bat guy, that would be awesome, but I didn't. So I'm just going to maintenance here, draw another card, and there is not what I wanted. Um, and I can't even retreat, so I'm just going to have to Oblivion Wing here and attach an energy to my Muna. Uh, my Evil Tall will get knocked out next turn, but that's okay. That's okay. Um, oh, no, he has Mr. Mime. What did he... Okay, I just realized he had the Mr. Mime there. That's been there since the beginning of the game, hasn't it? Because now I'm not doing 30 damage to each of his Pokemon. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, yeah, Mr. Mime shuts down this deck pretty easily. Um, and this is the first time I actually went up against a Mr. Mime, so I'm probably going to lose. Um, yeah, because I'm only doing 30 damage to the active Pokemon now. <laughs> And that's not that's not going to be enough. Um, I could bring out my Darkrai, which I should have done since the beginning of the game. Um, but, you know, I didn't really think of that. Because I didn't really register the Mr. Mime. And I'm kind of a noob um, right now. And forever after. Okay, so I'm just going to bring up the Neovern. Hopefully he can stall for a little bit. And I really want to get a Darkrai out right now. So, I'm going to attach the Psychic Energy to my Meow Stick there. And you know what? I'm just gonna long distance hypnosis just to put him, try to put him to sleep. Um, and he does get put to sleep. And I'm gonna do 30 damage to his active Pokemon because that's all I can do. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, that's not supposed to happen. Um, or is it? Prevent all damage done to your bench Pokemon by attacks. That was definitely attack, and it definitely did damage. So that attack should not have done damage to each of his bench Pokemon. Um, I'm not sure why it did, uh, but it did. Right? Is, am I right? Am I, you know, that's a glitch with your Mr. Mime, right? Yeah. Yeah, I, I just realized. I won't, I won't, uh, manipulate it any more than I will, because, or any more than I have to. Um... But, yeah, whatever. It, it, it happens. It happens. So I'm going to try to get my Darkrai out now. Um, yeah, I mean, there's nothing really I can do besides try to get the Darkrai out. Because the Darkrai is the only thing that's going to save me here. And there is the Darkrai. Um, I kind of want to get an Evil Tall out too so I can attach some energy to my discard. Or not my discard pile, but um, you know what I'm saying? No, you don't. You don't know what I'm saying. Um, nobody ever knows what I'm saying. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to get a baby evil tall. I don't know if I have any left in my deck, but there it is. So um, I want to attach some basic energy to my discard. I mean, not my discard pile, but um, um, my bench. My bench Darkrai. Because I need to get him out. Because he's my only hope. Um, and like I said, I'm not going to manipulate 
that attack. So I'm just gonna not attack because I did more damage than you know I probably should have, um, which is all right, I guess. But so, so sad. they haven't fixed it yet. So sad. Um, oh, so Mr. Mime just doesn't work in general, I guess. Um, but yeah, looks like he's gonna do a hundred damage to my little guy. Um, but that's okay. Uh, I don't really want him anyways because that's gonna, just gonna make me lose. Okay, so. Um, I'm going to put another Muna down just to try to put him to sleep as much as possible. And you know what? I'm going to start attaching energy because that's all I can really do right now. Um, 30 damage, knock out that Leafeon, and we're going to start attaching to our Dark Ride because that's the only thing I know how to do is attach to the Dark Ride. Okay, so there's our third prize. Um, I don't know, how, how did I get the first prizes? Did I just, just be awesome? I knocked out the Pumpkaboo with the Evil Tall. I knocked out the Pikachu with the, or the Raichu with the Evil Tall. Okay, that's how we got my own prizes. So, um, yes, you know, sometimes I have short-term memory, lo memory loss with that, but um, hopefully, I mean, I, I can easily win right now, can't I? Because he has so many, so much damage on the bench. But, you know, I don't really want to manipulate that because I kind of feel like I did manipulate that. Uh, but I could easily just move around that damage, but he's going to do a lot of damage to my... Evil Tall, and now I'm stuck. Um, what do I do? Uh, I'm gonna bring out my Noivern just to stall for a little bit. If he can flip, keep flipping heads on the on the attack, that would be awesome. Um, but I don't know if that's gonna happen. But we're gonna long distance hypnosis here and try to just put him to sleep. And if not, that's okay. So, um, like I said before, I'm not falling asleep myself when I flip tails because I do have the sparkling robe, but it looks like I can't even put him to sleep. So I'm going to get another sparkling robe here and put it on my dark eye. Uh, maybe I should wait, but in case he has a sterling megaphone, but man, we're not going to wait. And it looks like we both have six cards left in our deck, um, but he has five now. So uh, I don't know what's going to happen. He's going to flip tails and he's going to knock out my Noivern. Actually, I flip tails, not him. Okay, so my dark eye is my only hope here and it looks like I can do some awesome things. Um, and again, he's I'm going to be doing 30 damage to his bench. Um, and I don't want to manipulate that. <laughs> Dang it. Oh man, I, I totally, there's no way I can get around it because I can't not do 30 damage. Um, but I'm trying not to manipulate it to the best of my ability um, because there should not be any damage on his bench right now. Um, but I, th I believe... Oh, I don't think his Flareon was even supposed to get knocked out there. Whatever, whatever, it happens. Um, actually, I didn't attack once, and that once attack should have done 30 damage. You know, I'm thinking too much into this. Whatever, it's it happens. Um, okay, so it looks like he's going to um, escape rope. I'm going to bring out my Meow Stick because he has the most HP. Um, he's probably going to bring out his Doug Trio. And totally own some stuff. But, oh, maybe I sh He's going to knock out his own Mr. Mime if he attacks with Doug Trio. Um, but he's just going to retreat back into the Eevee. And... I don't know. He could evolve. I don't know if he should. He's, if he's going to evolve or not, though. Um, but there's a Juniper, so he's going to deck out. But he needs to win right now. Um, if he's ever going to win. So there's a Flareon, and he just wins the game. Um, okay, 160 damage. Dang it! Okay, that, that happens, though. It happens. Okay, so there's the defeat, and now he wins. Um, like I said, Mr. Mime really shuts down my this deck a lot. Um, but, you know, that's okay. Um, so Mr. Mime definitely showed him good. Um, I mean, I don't know. <laughs> that was that was an interesting game. I don't like glitches because then you have to work around them. I don't know. It's just dumb. Okay, so it looks like we start with a dark ride and an Esper. I'm gonna bring out the dark ride because I can just attach an energy and retreat whenever I want. Um, probably keep the Esper in my hand for now just to see what kind of deck he has. And it looks like he has a Lugia and a Mewtwo to start with, and a Thunderous. So he might just have a Plasma deck, um, which is gonna be hard to beat. But one good thing about a plasma decks, a good thing for me, is that they usually put a, they fill up their bench all the way. So, I'm going to be doing 150 damage with my Noivern, because 
Oh, wait, wait, wait. That's six times three is 180 damage with my Noivern. So that's a lot of damage um, if he does fill up his bench. So it looks like he does attach a double call list to his Mewtwo. Um, I do have a resistance to 20 Psychic with my Darkrai. So that's going to be nice. But it looks like he's just attaching a lot of a lot of stuff to his bench right now. And it looks like I did draw a Pokemon fan club, which is kind of nice. I'm just going to do that just to get uh, Baby Evil Toll in play. And then, hopefully, you know, I can't start attacking. Um, but, you know what? We're gonna try. Uh, maybe I should have kept that Psychic Energy so I could attach it. But, you know what? We, we're not going to do that. Um, and, you know, wait, undo last action. We're actually gonna attach to the Evil Tall because I can't attack anyway. So, uh, why let his Mewtwo do more damage to me than it has to be? You know, maybe, I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying. And hopefully I can draw a switch next turn so I can just attach an energy to my bench anyways. I will get the Noivern out next turn if he doesn't end me, that is. It looks like he does bring out a Pikachu, and he's filling up his bench pretty quickly here. There's a Muscle Band on the Mewtwo, so the Mewtwo is now doing 60 damage minus 20 is 40 damage to my Darkrai for the resistance. Oh man, and there's a fully powered up Lugia on the bench. So that Lugia is now doing 130 damage, I believe? Yeah, I don't know. Um, we're going to Juniper right now, and we're going to try to um, get a switch. Or, yeah, look at that switch. Okay, nice. Um, and then I can just retreat into my Evil Tall. That Lugia can knock out my Evil Tall in one hit. But, you know what? Um, I don't know. I don't know what. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. Um, I kind of want to save this hand, um, because I don't really want to discard anything with the uh, Ultra Ball right now. So we're gonna attach the Darkness Energy to our Noivern, and hopefully next turn we can start attacking with the Noivern. That would be awesome, and that would be awesome, and that would be awesome, and that would be awesome! Um, but if he doesn't bring out his Lugia next turn, and he doesn't knock out my Evil Tall, I can just retreat for free with the Dark Ride, because I do have a Darkness Energy attached to the Evil Tall, which is super cool. He's gonna Skyla for a Call Risk, just to have a supporter next turn, I'm guessing. Um, and he's going to try to, you know, I don't know. He could retreat into a Lugia, take two prizes from knocking out my Evil Tall. But it looks like he's not going to do that, um, which is kind of nice for me. And there is a Psychic Energy, exactly what I wanted. And I think I'm going to Colrus because I don't really want to discard any of those cards. Um, and there is a, <laughs> a Muna, which is pretty cool, um, but not cool enough. So I'm going to re treat yeah I'm gonna depend on echolocation here uh, I mean echolocation because um, this Mewtwo is knocking me out in one hit unless I flip heads on the echolocation which makes me um, not die <laughs> oh man so I'm kind of relying on my ability here um, which is kind of cool but I just did 150 damage to um, total with all of the bench damage done, so that's kind of cool. Um, but Ecolocation, I'm depending on you, because if you don't work, this Mewtwo is going to knock you out, and that's not good. Um, he could retreat into the Lugia 2 and take two prize cards, but I don't think he really wants to do that because there's a 50% chance he's not going to even knock me out, so he's going to be wasting an energy just to do nothing. Um, so here's the heads. No, it's the tails, and I get knocked out. Okay, so right now I need to get another Noivern in play. Um, I did do 150 damage, which is not going to cut it for right now. Um, I think I'm going to get an Ultra Ball just to be safe to get another um, little guy in play. I don't know what you call him. I, I mean, Noibat? I don't know. Don't ask me. Um... So I'm just going to, yeah, get rid of these things. And I don't want to discard the Meow Stick because I really need that for the end of the match. Um, just to at least have a chance at winning. So we're going to bicycle here and grab another bicycle. And then, you know what? We're going to try to long distance hypnosis. Try to put this Mewtwo to sleep. And we flip tails. So that puts me to sleep, but that's okay because I can just touch the sparkling robe and wake up. And there is an energy that I was hoping for. Attach that to Noibat. And we're going to Oblivion Wing for 30 and attach a Darkness Energy to my Noibat. So we are looking good next turn to bring out another Noibat. I mean Noivern. <laughs> oh man, because I do have one in my hand, which is awesome. 
Um, but he does put the Frozen City down, which is going to be annoying. But he's going to put Pokemon Catcher. No, please flip Tails. Please flip Tails. And now his heads. And here comes the Noibat. And he's going to knock my Noibat out like a big jerk. Okay, so that was kind of a jerk. That, I hate Pokemon Catcher. Why does that even exist? Um, okay, but we are going to long distance hypnosis here and flip heads. So he gets put to sleep. And I'm going to end here, put him down to four and put me up to six. And there is another Noibat, so hopefully he doesn't Pokemon catcher me again. Um, I'm going to have to take 20 damage from the Frozen City, but that is just going to have to happen. Um, because I really need to get some <laughs> Noivern out. That's what I need to do. Okay, so we're powering up another Noibat. And he does wake up from the sleep. Come on, nothing's going my way right now. Um, but I still have a chance at winning. He, he's only taken two prizes. And um, I only have one Noivern left, though. There's no potential of getting another Noivern out because I only have three Noi bats in this deck. And if this one gets knocked out, there's no chance of getting another one. So I need to get a Meow Stick out as soon as possible just to start moving some damage around. And hopefully, Echolocation can save my butt. Um, I need to get uh, Energy this turn, too, in order to attack, which is not going to be easy. Um... I think I can end this turn, because it'll put me at a 6, it's the same thing as a Colorus, so I'm just going to maintenance here, and hope for an energy, there it is, I'm just going to attach it, I don't care if it's psychic, um, I'm just going to attach it, and N for 6, put him down to 3, and there's some sparkling robes, there is the Esper, so I can definitely try to get that guy into play, and we're just going to long distance hypnosis here, and hopefully put this guy to sleep, Yes, he's asleep. Okay, so this is actually working a little bit more in my favor right now. Um, and we're going to save what we have right now so we can hopefully bicycle next turn um, for some stuff. So we're going to boom burst for 30 to each of his guys. And we are going to knock out that Pikachu too. Nice. Okay, so we're going to actually take a prize here. And there's a darkness energy. Um, and he does wake up. Come on. <laughs> No luck this game. No luck indeed. Um, so, hopefully I flip heads on the eco location. That's all I can hope for at this point. His Mewtwo is almost knocked out. Um, his Lugia and other things have a lot of damage on it. Flip heads? Yes! Eco location flips heads, so zero damage is done to my Noivern. And this Mewtwo is going to be goners next turn. Um, so we're going to, I mean, long distance hypnosis isn't going to do anything. So we're just going to start powering up our Darkrai because we have nothing else to power up here. Um, just in case we need to start attacking with them. Um, I really want a Meowstic too. I don't know if I have any psychic. I have one psychic energy left. So my Meowstic might uh, be hard to get out. Um, I really need to get that psychic energy. I don't know if it's prized. I don't know where it is. So that's kind of going to be annoying, but I'm going to have to depend on eco location here too. Um, again, <laughs> there's a computer search, so that's awesome. We got a computer search. Okay, so hopefully I flip heads on eco location because oh, there's the Lysander. Oh, I just lost the game because he. Dang it, I hate Lysanders and Pokemon catchers. Dang it, dang it, dang it. Okay, whatever. That was a good game. That was a good game. That was a really good game, actually. Um, I didn't win even close, but, you know, I was getting close. I was getting close to winning. All I needed to do was uh, do, like, one more attack. I wasn't getting lucky with those flips, though. Like, honestly, he's, he woke up every time, and I only got one eco location or echo locations flip, so whatever. We're going to go first, and hopefully we can start with something good. Looks like we had a lot of maintenance and bicycles there. Um, start with that Darkrai again? Seriously? I only have one of those guys in this deck, and I keep starting with it. It's kind of annoying, um, but not too annoying. Okay, so it looks like we do have a lot of maintenances and other things, but it looks like he has a fairy deck here. So uh, my Noivern is actually weak to fairy, which is going to be hard to work with, but not too hard. So we're going to try to... I don't even know. I could just Ultra Ball here um, and get a Baby Evil Tall out. I think I'm going to do that. And then we can hopefully win the game. <laughs> uh, I don't know. So, we're going to get the Baby Evil Tall out. And then we're going to... Wow. Um, I'm just going to Computer Search, I think. 
Just so I can get a supporter and then I can bicycle. Oh man, that's not very ideal, but I think I'm going to have to do it. I'm just going to get an N in case I bicycle into bad cards that I don't want to discard. And yeah, I didn't want to discard any of these. So I'm just going to N, hope for a darkness energy, and wow, at least I have an Esper. <laughs> I can maintenance two Junipers back into my deck so I don't have to discard them. And wow, there's a energy that I don't want either. Okay, so next turn we can switch. Actually, this turn we can switch. Uh, maybe, yeah, because he's not going to do any damage to me anyways. Um, and next turn I can Juniper. So, dang it, this deck isn't working as well as it works when I'm not recording. I don't know why. <laughs> but he does have a resistance to... <sighs> darkness, too, so that's going to be annoying. Because he has a resistance, and he, I have weakness to him. So that's kind of, kind of really annoying. Um... But, dang it, this isn't working out at all, you guys. Okay, at least he does get another Xerneas in play. Um, maybe, if he puts it down. He doesn't put it down. Um, so that's kind of, what the heck is, what this? I don't want these Psychic Energies. I want Darkness Energies, okay? So give me those. Um, Noivern, I got the Meow Stick in play already, but no Energies to do anything with. Um, I can bicycle for two, hope for a darkness energy so I can start attacking, but no good. Hopefully I can put this guy to sleep though, that would be awesome, but if not, whatever. Uh, okay, so he does fall asleep, hopefully he stays asleep. It doesn't really matter if he doesn't, but I mean, if he does have a double call list, he could start attacking next turn, um, and does do 30 damage to one of my bench Pokemon, so I don't know. Um, hopefully he starts loading up his bench here, so my uh, Noivern can do a lot of damage. Um, but at the same time, I don't know if he's going to do that. So I might be looking bad. And he knows my plan. He knows I have Meow Sticks, so he knows he doesn't want to load up his bench. Um, which is kind of bad. Um, I might start powering up my Darkrai. Um, you literally destroyed me with that end. Ha! Huh. Good. <laughs> Good. I'm happy. Okay, and he stays asleep, and I'm going to evolve, and there's a darkness energy that I can definitely use. And, you know, probably not going to end, because he said I destroyed him, so why would I ever want to do anything different than end? So there's another Noibat. I can't discard an energy, which is kind of annoying, but um, that's fine. Um, next turn, I can, can discard an energy from my hand and start attaching to my bench. And he doesn't wake up again. Now I'm getting lucky. Now I'm getting lucky. Okay, so. We might win. We might lose. We might do anything. Um, but still, he's not loading up his bench with Pokemon, which is the best possible thing he could do. But my Muna is doing super awesome things. Okay, so he's going to Skyla, probably for a supporter. Because honestly, what else could he possibly do? He definitely wants a supporter. Um, and I want to definitely get uh, Psychic Energy attached to my Noivern. I only have 24 cards left in my deck. And there is a Calrus with the Skyla. And now, I don't know what's going to happen. This is going to be insane. Okay, it looks like he stays asleep still. What the heck is up with this guy? Oh man, that's kind of funny. He couldn't attack anyways, but it's still funny, just the concept. I'm going to discard these two Darkness Energies just so I can... Uh, attach them, and it looks like I am golden with Oblivion Wing now. I'm doing 10 damage with my Evil Tall, but that's okay. Okay, so I'm going to start powering my Evil Tall, and he stays asleep once again! Wow, that is one sleepy Xerneas. Okay, so I'm tr kind of screwing up everything. So there's another Xerneas on his bench. <laughs> I don't know how to... <laughs> I don't know how to spell Xerneas, so your guy... doesn't want to wake up. Oh man, your guy just doesn't want to wake up. <laughs> if he stays asleep again, that would be amazing for me, but probably not for him. So he's going to call us for seven cards and probably um, get some stuff going because this is his first real um, call or supporter of the game. He had, he had a Shauna in the me beginning, but two... Two Skylas and a Shauna. That's not the ideal supporter that you want. He does attach another Fairy Energy to his Xerneas. So that's kind of going to be um, hurtful for my Noivern. Hopefully he can't flip 
any heads, but we're going to maintenance here, get some cards, and yeah, we're just going to attach the Noivern and hopefully put him to sleep again. <laughs> if we put him to sleep, I'll feel so bad. Okay, good. Um, he doesn't go to sleep, and I'm just going to end here, hopefully, to get something. You know, there's nothing really that I need right now. I have almost everything I need. So we're going to bring out the Noivern. Hopefully, he will not be able to... Um, hopefully, I do flip heads on the echolocation so he doesn't attack me. But we're, we do 90 damage total to all of his uh, Pokemon. So, yeah. My Meowstic is sitting on the bench all happy and stuff. And I got another Noivern sitting on the bench too that I can start powering up. Um, unless he does knock me out, which is going to be super easy because he's going to be doing 120 with Breakthrough. He's going to be doing 280 with the, what do you call that, X-Blast. So, he doesn't really need to power up the X-Blast if he doesn't want to. Actually, he doesn't need to at all. I don't know why he would. Because he can do 30 damage to one of my bench Pokemon, which is probably the best thing he could possibly do just to knock out this Muna because he has been falling asleep a lot and that seems to be uh, the worst possible thing to ever do to him. So, haha. -ha. Um, it looks like he is inactive for a long time. And he doesn't know what to do because he doesn't know what to do. That's just the, the simple answer to that question. He doesn't know what to do. So, equal location flip. Head, so he doesn't do anything to my active Pokemon, and he does 30 to my Meow Stick. So, um, I'm gonna start attaching to my other Noivern and hopefully put him to sleep again, but maybe not, because I wouldn't count on it. But he does fall asleep, wow, oh man, and we're gonna do 30 to each of his Pokemon. So, already, and he does wake up, which is good for him, because I'm kind of, I was kind of getting, um, sad for him but there's a pokemon center lady healing 60 damage and it looks like you know i could have knocked him out next turn but it looks like now i flip tails and i'm gonna get knocked out and my meow stick is going to get knocked out as well um pretty soon um he has 60 60 and 20 so that's not gonna be enough to knock out any of his guys but you know i kind of don't want meow stick to go to waste here so i think i'm just gonna uh you know what? I'm just going to bring out my Evil Tall and just start attacking with it. Power up another Meow Stick on my bench, because why not? Um, yeah, I have another one in my hand, so I can just Oblivion Wing, attach Darkness Energy to my Noivern, and start powering him up. And next turn, I can just retreat, uh, bring out the Noivern, and power up my other Meow Stick, and we'll be good to go. Um, he will take a prize, though, but that's okay. Um, oh, I didn't even Muna, did I? I probably should have Muna'd. Why didn't I Muna? I should have Muna'd him all over the place. <sighs> That's okay, though. Um, I mean, uh, it doesn't really matter. I mean, it kind of does, but not really. I mean, kind of, but not really. But maybe it does. I don't know. So he does 60 and knocks out my Meow Stick with 30. And he doesn't really want to attach anything to his bench, which is obviously the best move for him. Um, I'm going to get another Meow Stick out, attach this, and bring out my Long Distance Hypnosis in order to not put him to sleep. That's okay, though. Um, I think I'm going to bring out another Evil Tall. You know what? I'm just going to leave my stuff the way it is because I'm running out of deck, and that's not good. Um, I'm going to Boom Burst for 30, 30, 30, and hopefully we can get a knockout on one of these guys. Um, hopefully he doesn't knock me out, though, because that would be devastating. Um, there's a Fairy Garden, so he... Can retreat for free now. I don't know if he's going to, but you know we both can retreat for free because I have Dark Rider retreat for free and he has Fairy Garden to retreat for free. So that is good. I mean, not good, but kind of good, I guess. He's gonna Skyla for a Lysander and probably bring out my Meow Stick and knock it out this turn. Um, and that's my last Meow Stick of the of, of my deck, and I can't get another one out. But he doesn't Lysander, and there is a flip, and I flip tails. Okay, so now I need another Noivern. I don't know if I have any left, though. Um, I'm going to bring out my Meow Stick, because he's just going to Pokemon catcher me out anyways. I'm going to put an Evil Tall on the bench, and let's see here. Let me see if I have another Noivern. I have one left somewhere, so I'm definitely going to try to get it out. Um... Yeah, I'm just going to Ultra Ball, and 
And there is the Neuburn. Uh, not Neuburn, Neubat, sorry. Um, but I should have brought my Evil Tall up and then used Long Distance Hypnosis and then retreated and so I didn't fall asleep. But I didn't do that. Um, and that's okay. So I'm just going to use Ear Influence because I can knock out the active Xerneas and then he won't be able to knock me out, which will be awesome. So we're just going to move all this damage to the active Pokemon. Let's see here. And yeah, we're just going to do that. Um, I don't know how much damage. I don't want to do the math right now. I just know that we're going to do enough to the active just to knock it out, just so he can't attack. And if he doesn't get the double colors in play, then he can start attacking. But, um, I don't know if that's going to happen or not. Um, but even, even the first attack of the Xerneas will knock out my Meowstic. So I don't really want that to happen. But you know, it might. So, looks like we're going to... How much damage do we have left? 40. Okay, so. Um, yeah, I'm just going to evenly distribute this, I think. Um, just because... You know, I'm just going to bring out all this Xerneas. Um, because Baby Xerneas doesn't really... I really want to build a deck for a little while. It is a lot of fun. You should definitely build it. Um, yeah, we're going to leave 70 damage on the active... But what if he has another Pokemon Center Lady? I don't really want him to heal all that damage. So we're just going to go like that. Okay, and now we're done, right? Yep, zero. And now he is going to get knocked out. And I get to take two prizes. And hopefully I can get my Noivern out of the prizes, but I don't. I don't have another Noivern in my deck, so that's going to be hard to do. Um, yeah, my other Noivern is prized, so that's going to be hard to work with. And it looks like he does bring out the Spritzy, so I'm probably going to want to knock out that Spritzy before he gets... Ooh, and he did put an energy on it, so I'm going to want to knock out that Spritzy with my Meowth Stick right now, and hopefully get another uh, Noi. Vern in play. Actually, undo last action. I can probably power up my Darkrai at this point. Um, because I don't think I'm going to get another Meowstic in play. Uh, I mean Noivern. So I'm just going to knock out the Spritzy and hope for the best. Um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. I'm not going to call this. I could call this, but I'm just going to ear influence. Knock out this Spritzy, because I don't really want that Aromatisse to come out. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you do. Okay, so we're going to knock out the Spritzy. Take another prize, and if we do get the Noivern, that would be awesome. But, you know what, I think my Darkrai is my best bet right now, because I can't... After my Meowstic gets knocked out, I can't do any damage um, with the Noivern very effectively, because um, it's just not going to work. You know what I'm saying? Because it's doing 30 damage. He doesn't even have that big of a bench, so Noivern's kind of pointless at this point. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you do. Yeah, maybe you don't. I don't know. Um, it looks like we do have an N, though, so we can N, hopefully, bring out our baby Evil Tall next turn, and maybe we can save the Meowth Stick, um, but at the same time, it doesn't really make a difference because I don't have energy attached to... I don't, I don't, my other Noivern is prized, so I can't do anything anyways. <laughs> What did he say? I wanted to build that tech. Oh yeah, I already said that. Okay, so he's going to attach a uh, fairy energy to... He hasn't had a lot of supporters in this game at all. So I think I'm just going to retreat. Uh, I'm going to retreat. Um, you know, I'm going to end him down to three just to be safe because I have no idea what's in his hand. And that's a big hand. He hasn't, he hasn't done much with it recently, but um, it, it, it's too big for my liking. So I'm going to retreat, bring out the baby evil tall, and then I can actually start long distance hypnosis singing because um, I do have that sparkling robe on my evil tall, but it looks like it didn't do anything, but we can start attaching energy to our dark cry. And that's, you know what, all, I re all we really need to do um, because my dark cry might make us win the game here. Hopefully. Um, he does bring out his Xerneas, though, and he's going to start knocking out my guys. Oh, man. Okay. So, hopefully I do have another energy left in my deck so I can Professor's Letter. He's in a Pokemon fan club. Dang, this game is getting close. I don't even know what's going to happen. Um, he can easily win here. Uh, maybe. He's going to bring out Eevee and another Xerneas. So, hopefully... 
You know, Noivern doesn't do very good when there's not a lot of benched Pokemon, so that's probably why I'm struggling so hard here. It's because he really didn't have that many benched Pokemon, and you know what? That's fine. But, 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 next turn, hopefully we can get the Darkrai powered up. If not, that's going to be sad, but he's going to, he has two targets now to knock me out. I'm going to Professor's Letter here, take two Darkness Energy from my deck, and you know what? He has two targets on my bench to start knocking them out, but I'm just going to retreat into my Darkrai for free and start trying to not, oh shoot, I shouldn't have done that, I should have long hit distance hypnosis first, try to put him to sleep, dang it, I'm really bad at that, and he has 80 HP left, which is exactly enough to not let me knock him out, so, let's see here, I'm going to do 32 of the Xerneas on the bench, dang it, 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 I think I'm going to lose, because I can't even knock out the Xerneas next turn, because he has 10 HP, I should have definitely tried to put him to sleep, um, but he's probably going to do X-Ball, or X-Blast, not X-Ball. Um, and that would be awesome if he did, actually, because then I could retreat into my baby Evil Tall that he won't knock out. Um, but it looks like he is going to knock me out, uh, my Meow Stick. Um, but I can do 10 damage with my baby Evil Tall. And, you know, I'm just going to do that, because then I can knock out the Xerneas in one hit, and then he will be left with nothing. Um, and I can even try to put him to sleep now. So, hopefully I flip heads. I do flip heads, so he does go to sleep, and hopefully he stays asleep, so then he can't do anything. So I'm going to do 10 damage, and you know what, attach uh, Darkness Energy to my Evil Tall, I guess. Um, I mean, why not? <laughs> okay, so... Looks like he stays asleep, wow, okay. It looks like we, we might win this game now because he is asleep and I can knock him out with my Darkrai now, which is awesome. Um, wow, this is just an incredible game right now. I don't even know how, what's happening. Um, <laughs> this is just so, I don't know, this is just such a bad game. Uh, but it looks like he's a Swirlix and an Eevee out, so he can't be affected by special conditions if he gets that, the, the, if he gets this guy evolved. Um, because that turns off special conditions for each Pokemon that has, for each of your Pokemon that has, uh, fairy energy attached to it. But it looks like he stays asleep again. So I can bring out my Darkrai now, and he won't be able to knock me out. Um, I can retreat for free. Wait, wait, wait. Oh yeah, he's already asleep, so I don't need a long distance hypnosis. Attack with the Darkrai, knock him out, and do, you know, do 30 to his Swirlix, because I can just knock out the Swirlix next turn on the bench, Two. So, we're going to take two prizes, and if I do get that Swirlix knocked out, we are good to go. Um, he do I do draw the Noivern from the prizes, though. Not that it's going to be um, any good, but I think I just gave you the game. Yeah. I what was the misplay? Um, I don't know what the misplay was. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Um, but I might win now. Um, unless he pulls something out of his butt. Aw, oh, dang it, he got the Surplup out. Dang it, now I'm gonna lose! Oh, I'm gonna so lose! Oh, man. Oh, wait. No, I'm not. I can bring out my baby Evil Tall here. If I can get an energy. Uh, so I'm just gonna start getting rid of cards in my hand. So I can get an energy out. Because um, I, all I need is an energy on my Evil Tall, and then it still won't knock him out. Dang it, I'm a noob. Uh, okay, so, um, what can I do? The Xerneas is going to knock me out with an X-Blast in one hit. Um, I can't even knock out the Xerneas, or the Surplus, or the Xerneas EX. What is my best possible move here? Uh... I think my best possible move is to bring out this baby Xerneas and just try to put him to sleep uh, like I did last time because he needs to take two more prizes left or yet and maybe I can start powering up my this guy. Um, it looks like it didn't flip heads but that's okay. Um, I'm just gonna Oblivion Wing for 10 and then next turn I can if he doesn't retreat, I can knock him out with my baby Evil Tall. 
because he only has 80 damage left and my evil tall is doing 100 minus 20 for the resistance is 80. But it looks like he does bring out his Xerneas EX. Woof da! And here is an N. Um, so he's going to 60 and 30. Oh, he can easily knock out my Muna. Okay. Um, so this might be bad. If my Muna can put him to sleep, that would be awesome. Okay, but we're going to bring out my Evil Tull here and probably lose the game. Um, I'm going to end, hopefully, to get a Sparkling Robe. I think they're all gone, though. There's a Colorus. Okay. Um, maybe I should have just attacked with the Darkrai because then I could have knocked him out. No, that probably would have been my best option, but I didn't do that. Um, I need to put him to sleep right now or I'm going to lose. So if I put myself to sleep, um, tough luck. Um, but there is the heads. Oh, man, dude. Um, oh, yeah, but he can't go to sleep because of his surplus. Oh, good game. I probably should have attached. Ah, oh, yeah, I probably... <laughs> I probably should have attacked with, the, with his surplus. I probably should have attacked with the Darkrai to his surplus in order to knock it out. But he's just gonna knock me out anyways. Because I I mean I thought he was gonna attach another energy and do 140 damage to my Dark Rye and knock me out, but I guess he didn't even have the energy to attach. So I probably could have done that anyways. Oh well. That was a good game. It was a good game. But we have to end this episode now. So be sure to like this video if you like it. Be sure to subscribe to my channel if you've not, and we'll see you next episode, guys. Thanks for watching.